Good morning. And as you can see, we have radar up on, up on our screen here. And I'm gonna tell you, it was a rude awakening this morning with those chilly temperatures. We have a frost and freeze warning up in, the mis up in um, excuse me, Memphis and Little Rock areas and off to the east up in Chattanooga. So the thing about it is it was quite chilly. As we look at our moisture down to our south at Panama City, Jacksonville, it's like to heavy showers down to our south, but none of that is impacting our area. Now, as we look ahead here at the Mississippi River levels, we do have some good news coming up at Greenville. The levels, the flood levels are gradually coming down. They're coming down very slowly, at least about two feet per day. So looking, looking ahead for Tuesday, 52.7 feet, and then by Friday, we expect them to be down to 51 feet. Now looking at the Yazoo River, we have very good news there. In fact, it's excellent news. We are below flood stage at 26 feet. And then by later in the week, it'll shift up just a tad at 26.5. Now looking at our current weather conditions, we have 36 degrees in Greenwood with a dew point of 27, humidity at 70 percent, and winds out of the north at eight miles per hour. Now looking at our Greenville camera, excuse me, our Greenwood area numbers, we have nine percent, nine, nine, uh, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> anyway, nine miles per hour wind out of the north at 37 degrees, and it's nine miles per hour wind and the humidity at 67 percent. Now looking at our current temperatures around the area, 36 in Greenwood, 34 in Clarksdale, 32 in Tunica, and 33 in Columbus. So again, chilly start, but things will warm up later. Now looking at today's forecast, we have a high expected at 56 degrees with increasing clouds. Winds will be out of the north, northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And looking at tonight, 37 is going to be our low with cloudy to gradual clearing and winds will be out of the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, sunny skies, 65 degrees, and I told you it's going to be mild. Winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And looking ahead at that seven-day forecast, we have some improvement to speak about there. Sunny skies for Wednesday, 72 degrees, and then by Thursday, oh boy, here we go. A few little showers there and possibly a thunderstorm for each and every day for the later part of the week. But again, those temperatures are gonna be spring-like. One day up there almost near 80 degrees. So, so that's some good news, very good news. And then by then things will be getting back to quiet mm -hmm. on Sunday. 77 degrees. Oh yeah, see a little breezy there, but I see the temperatures are looking wonderful. Yes. Well, yes. welcome to the Delta News on Fox. How are Thank you, Karen? You. I'm I'm doing pretty good now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good now. Yeah. It's still, we're, we're, we're making it work. That's all we can say. We're That's right. I think you're doing great. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, so um, I know for um, my show, this is your first morning show. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about you? Like, where are you from? Sure. I'm born and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, Philly. But, yes, good old Philly. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, <Yes. laughs> anyway, we're moving on. What we did was we started working in the Baltimore, D.C. area, mm -hmm. working behind the scenes. And in fact, what I did to even start, I started out in production. Wow. And so I did the production thing, then I moved on to master control. And then uh -huh. from there, uh -huh. I said, oh, we got to do some weather. So I started working with our... Uh -huh chief meteorologist at all our stations okay. and from there I just said all right it's time it's time to, yes. time to do this and now you're in the Delta yes how are you loving it so far the people are very nice yes. I, I love it I very I very much love it here and I know that the food is very good and I'm going to be putting on weight. <laughs> no, you know what? As long as you know, just keep walking and you're going to stay busy because you're going to have so many places to go. It's really an awesome area. I know we're both new. Mm -hmm. So excited to get 
the uh, Delta News on Fox started. We appreciate Mr. Woodrow Wilkins. He filled in for us and he did an amazing job. We're going to miss him on the Delta News on Fox, but we are excited about having Karen here with us. So we're looking forward to that and growing and keeping it moving and waking yes. everybody up in the morning. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up, see what's new in entertainment. We'll have more on that coming up after the break. <laughs> 